Hello again everyone. We're out for another night and off to an okay start here with this um, very good sized mountain water snake. We've seen a fair few of these in the vlogs recently so I won't spend too much time talking about it but this is an aquatic snake here in Hong Kong and not too uncommon around lower level mountain streams and pretty cool they're they're very much like a lot of the water snakes you'd experience anywhere they're pretty quick and uh, like to dive in the water and do a lot of death rolling and biting but this one's uh, as they go I suppose relatively calm and when they're mature like this their markings are relatively faded but as juveniles all the uh, coloration in between the little diamond shaped bands you see there is pretty bright red so they're actually uh, relatively attractive snakes as juveniles and as adults they're they're quite nice too just um, they drab out and get a lot more camouflaged you can see the ventrals they've got um, a little bit of checkering on the belly this one's a bit brown with a little bit of yellow coloration on the ventrals towards the neck there but we're gonna go ahead and let this one go right where we found it here just wanted to stop and make sure I had a chance to show you guys what we found all right, we'll check back in if we find something else. Okay, everyone, we've got our third snake of the night. We actually saw another Sinonatrix, but it got away. Let's see if you guys can spot this as we zoom in. Pretty far away, through the trees there, we've got a roosting greater green. That's kind of our mascot on these vlogs, so we won't get into the detail, but that's a sleeping greater green way up in there. So we're going to keep walking. We've just started our walk out, but that's a little bit less than halfway through. So we've got a lot more walking to do. Hopefully we'll find some more. Check back in if we do. All right, everyone. We've got our next snake of the evening. And this time it's a very tiny juvenile bamboo pit viper and we've seen lots of these before it's another one of the more common snakes here in Hong Kong but still kind of fun to see a juvenile like this Having a little trouble with my autofocus bear with me there we go yeah super super tiny uh, there's not a good way for me to show you the size but maybe I'll show you I've got a little snake hook here so there's the snake hook and then let me show you the snake hook next to my hand that's my hand so it's a super tiny snake it's definitely not as thick as my pinky finger and really probably just a newborn very cool find we're gonna keep moving see if we can find something else all right everyone our next snake of the night, possibly our last this evening, it's tough to say, but we're getting close to the end of the walk. So this is an oldie but a goodie, the greater green, second one we've seen tonight. This one was right on the side of the path, so wanted to give you a quick look before we let him get on his way. Um, we've talked about these species a lot, they're harmless, Largely diurnal snake, and at nighttime, sometimes you can find them roosting in trees. Um, but yeah, really, uh, really great species here in Hong Kong. They often get mistaken for bamboo vipers and are sometimes stepped on or otherwise persecuted as a result. But as you can see here, they're completely harmless little snakies. So we're going to let this one get on its way, but great potential last find. But if we come up with anything else, we'll pop back on and show you. Okay, everybody, we're out for another night, and we've got a really nice find here. This is actually a large spotted cat snake. We found these on the vlog before, but not so many of them. So really cool to be able to show you this one. And he is in very traditional many spotted cat snake strike pose. 
it actually doesn't take them too much um, to send out a bite so this is a very cool find these are actually from the genus boiga which are a class of snakes that are um, tree snakes for the most part they're highly arboreal but to be honest I find almost every single one of these on the ground and this one actually has a meal in it I don't know if we're gonna be able to see but yeah the bolus is just over here and you can kind of see from my hand size how big the snake is this one's pretty tiny they do get bigger than this um, but I would consider this maybe a sub adult and really cool species to find we actually also found a checkered keelback um, and I'm gonna try and get some footage of that as well but aside from that a few other snakes that moved off the path too quick some bamboos and things like that but it's been a little bit slow so we're gonna keep going and see if we can find some more but super happy that we came across a boiga very cool species all right we'll check back in with the next one hello again everyone we're out for another herping session and we've come across a really cool find this for some of you who've been watching a little bit more may recognize is a banded crate but it's no ordinary banded crate this is actually a juvenile and I think we described the previous ones as relatively decent size I believe they were around a meter long give or take and they can certainly grow much larger than that and this one on the other hand is probably no more than 30 cm 30 centimeters if he's that long and unlike the older ones the yellow banding on these is actually quite drab it's almost a brown color as opposed to the either coppery blacky yellows or the pure bright vibrant yellows that you can get on the adults now the other interesting thing is that the stripes on the head are actually more in line with adult coloration they're actually quite yellow when you look up close I'll try and get us in here for a closer view although I'm not sure how how clear the coloration is going to come through but you can see there and this one's in typical banded crate defense mode actually his head's a little bit more exposed than they normally are a lot of times that head will actually be tucked under the body and the tail will be visible only so this is a, a pretty good angle for you to be able to see now these are highly venomous snakes even at this size so I'm gonna hold my hand up but the hand is actually quite far away in this frame so the relative comparison is not gonna be that easy but you can see here rough comparison this is quite a small snake uh, with regards to the size they can attain so very cool find very happy we could take a minute to show you before we let it get on its way and we're gonna keep moving we'll let you know if we find anything else all right everyone we've got our next snake of the evening this is a oldie but a goodie the white spotted slug snake this is a very common species here in Hong Kong they are snail and slug eating specialists and these are terrestrial you find these on the ground which is exactly where we just found this guy and they're quite small you can see here that's about as big as they get maybe a little bit bigger than this but not much more really specialized heads uh, jaws that ratchet uh, differently on each side so that they can pull snails out of their shells and pretty fun little snakes I think this is the first one we found around this area but that's because we don't come here that much I'm sure there's plenty of them around but yeah just the start of our walk so super happy to find this we're gonna keep on going and we will check back in if we find anything else